coming up in 2024, we will be faced with one of the most animating tests of human freedom on the planet, of liberty, of patriotism. And if any of these ideals are going to survive, it's going to be in 2024. It's going to start in Iowa in just a couple of weeks time. And we are all going to be faced with serious tests ahead. No one more so than President Trump, who, of course, his life is on the line in four separate trials right now, two of which are in Washington, D.C., one of which is in New York City, another one of which is in Fulton County, Georgia. He's on civil trials. They're taking to they're trying to take his free him away. They're trying to strip him of his businesses. They're trying to take his finances away, his wealth away. And make no mistake, he could walk away from all of this. Mm. He saw, dropped out of the race right now. Uh, I guarantee all of these cases, all of these things would go away and he mm. could go home. And we, I think we all know that, that Donald Trump had an incredibly charmed life, uh, the life that you know most people dream of married to a supermodel he's got properties all over the world fabulous mansion in florida and penthouse and the entire tower in new york city uh, he had it made and he sacrificed all of that because he saw the direction of our country he saw the direction of the west and he said i must stand up to do something about the crooked globalists and this regime that has taken power. And he called it out as they were doing. He called out the industrialization. He called out the globalization. He called out the outsourcing of all of our manufacturing base to China. He called out getting in bed with the Chinese Communist Party all the way back in the 1980s. Yeah. He called out the the false free trade agreements within North America, this North American free trade agreement that we had had NAFTA uh, throughout the 1990s. And you can, he's on record. He's on record going back to the 80s, going back to the 90s on these issues of trade, on the issue of certainly on the issue of immigration, on the issue of foreign policy and war. He's always stood against these things and stood up for what is in the best interest, not of the special interest, not of businesses, but in the interest of the American people. And by the way, in the interest of the nation. And he's one of the last, I, I think in, in some ways he comes from sort of an, an older uh, tradition, I would say, of, of a statesman who actually views the country as not a not a commodities market or not a place where you know goods can be sold just another economic market for the multinational corporations but actually understands that a, a a nation is a unique place of a unique people with unique traditions unique backgrounds unique culture unique heritage and that is what must be preserved not only by the way um for all of these of social concerns and, and social cohesion, but also because this is the best vessel that we have yet to find for humanity and for the progress of human civilization.